What's up guys, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. As you may or may not know, I don't know how well you know us, we like tools, tech, and otherwise gear. We like some cool gadgetry. Today's video, we have a very cool thing to show you, which is a solar powered security camera with some artificial intelligence built in. Sounds cool, sounds creepy. We'll show you all of that coming up. As we get started unpacking this thing, I'll tell you a little bit more about this camera. So this is the Eufy name brand 4K Ultra HD 4G and Wi-Fi solar powered security camera. This is specifically model number 4G LTE Cam S330. A couple of the coolest features of this camera is that number one, it is a self-sustaining and has pretty much forever power thanks to that solar panel. The four and a half watt solar panel needs only two hours of sunlight per day to keep the camera powered under normal uses. That's pretty amazing. So even if you are in the farthest reaches or in no man's sun land, you should still, I hope, have enough daylight to charge this every day and use it without connecting to any other power source. With optimal sunlight, the solar panel can collect and store 1,400 milliamp hours per day, and the camera uses approximately 460 milliamp hours over a day and night of average use. So from this, you can see that one sunny day will ride you through, what is that, quick math, over three solid days of just pure darkness which hopefully none of us ever experience. Another cool feature about this camera is that it has dual connectivity. So this is not only a Wi-Fi connected camera, but also runs off of cellular networks being 4G LTE. So from use in your home with a strong Wi-Fi connection to even a remote lake house or in the middle of nowhere, as long as you have cell service with the 4G connection, this camera will work. As far as the 4G or cellular network connections, this camera comes with a 3-in-1 SIM card that is compatible with AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon networks. So this really should cover everyone in the US. It also automatically selects the most stable network to optimize connectivity and ensure uninterrupted viewing. So while I'm not an expert at cellular-based cameras, the ability for this thing to find the network and connect on demand seems magical. As far as resolution, this is a 4K ultra high def camera with 8x zoom. So it has 4K ultra high def and also has the ability to illuminate the area with a 100 lumen spotlight to enhance your nighttime viewing and identification of any people or things that shouldn't be where they are. The last cool thing to mention about this camera is that it is wire free. So that is probably the number one thing that I like about it. Since we're going to be installing this outdoors, we don't have to worry about running power to this. No data connection back and forth. It is truly wire free. As long as the solar panel is put within daylight to hit the minimum two and a half hours per day, you are good to go. Now, depending upon how far away from your home's network you may or may not be, you might want to ditch the Wi-Fi and go with the 4G, but this one camera, again, can do them both. So in this sense, it really seems like a one-stop shop for remote viewing, security, and otherwise just making your place look pretty cool. All right, guys, you still with me? Hopefully you are. I tried to keep that as entertaining as possible, but some of those technical specs can get you glazed like a donut. So let's go ahead and get our tools. Let's round up Angela, because she went somewhere. She might have fell asleep over there with my ramblings. Either way, get our stuff, get outside and find where she wants to install this camera and put it up to see how it works. Here we are at our garden, where I think would be a really good place for us to put the camera. We have some four-legged creatures that keep getting in our garden beds and leaving surprises for us. Treats. <laughs> so it would be nice to see if it's our cat or others. And we'll also be able to keep an eye on our chickens and any predators that may be coming by for them. Right. Yes, we have chickens. We don't show them a lot, but they're happy, they're good. We'll have to show them, I guess, now. So as far as structures out here, we have our greenhouse to choose from and our greenhouse to choose from. So where are we going to install it? I think we'll do it on the greenhouse. All right, <laughs> let's go over there. So here is the camera. We are going to attach it to the front corner of the greenhouse because that is going to be where we can get a little bit more view of everything. And what's nice is it has a long enough cord that we can put the solar panel on the other side of the greenhouse. So we have plenty of room. We don't have to worry about it.
The solar panel just threads onto here. So that's what I'm doing here behind the panel. You don't see what I'm doing exactly, but let's see if I can twist it around. There we go. So solar south is just about right there. So that's how I'm going to orient the solar panel. And then as far as our angle, I'm just gonna eyeball 30 degrees, which is what is supposed to be year round best for us. All right, and the camera is gonna go here at the front corner of the greenhouse. Go up as high as we can. This way, it should be able to rotate towards you guys. And we'll see towards the front of the field where the chickens are and other garden beds. So the camera just pushes and locks into the bracket with this section right here. You just kind of push, click, and you're ready to go. What I'm going to do before that is go ahead and get this thing set up with the app, pair it to my phone, and connect it to our Wi-Fi. We're pretty close to my workshop, which is what you see back here, and there is a Wi-Fi router inside there, so I think we'll be fine on Wi-Fi. All right, I've turned on screen recording on my phone so you guys can at least see this with me here. I've opened up the app. I've already registered for an account and everything that you will get walked through with the app that there's no point in me showing you. Well, most of it I don't want you to see, like our home network and passwords and all that, but whatever. We're at the point we're ready to add the device. So I'm gonna tap on the blue button that says add device. I'm gonna choose battery camera, the 4G LTE Cam S330, which is the model we have. I'm going to select my home, so up at the top here, home, click next. I'm going to tell it that we're going to be doing Wi-Fi binding. If, if you're doing a SIM card in 4G, this is where you'll choose the different option. But I'm going to tap on Wi-Fi binding. I'm going to tell it I'm connected to our router and not the home base. Again, if you've got the home base from the company, this is where you'll choose something different. And now it wants me to scan the QR code on the back of the camera. That was quick. It's asking to select the network we want to join it to. Here we go. And I'll type in our Wi-Fi password, so no peeking. Now I'm gonna tap on next. And now it's telling me to press the sync button on the back side of this camera. Hold it for about four seconds until you hear it beep and the little blue LED light on the front starts flashing. So we'll go ahead and press it. There we go. I'm gonna tap on next on my screen. Now my phone is gonna generate a QR code for this camera to view. Hopefully this works well outdoors. Connecting to the network. <laughs> okay, that worked out great. Looks good. Tap on next, tells me connecting. Setup was successful. Nice, thank you camera for letting us know. Um, okay, it wants to know camera name. Let's do custom. What do you want to name it? Garden. Garden. So original. <laughs> Done. Confirm. Next. All right, so here I have some options. Do I want to set this camera up for optimal battery life, optimal surveillance, or customized? We get so much sun out here, and we have a wide open sky. I'm going to choose optimal surveillance and go ahead and choose next. Now we wanna go with the notification mode. Uh, most efficient, get notifications without any delay. Full effect, get text notifications first, then thumbnail, okay. I'm just gonna leave it on most efficient. I don't wanna get spammed every time a cat goes running by. This may be something I disabled, but hey, let's test it and see how it works. So next. All right, so do we want to set whether to turn off the microphone and audio recording when and where you use the camera? We're here at the house. I'm just gonna turn on everything here. Looks good. Next, fully charge the battery before mounting. Just so you know, this has been sitting with the solar panel charging it for several days, so we are fully charged. At this point, if not, use the wall adapter and everything like you see here on the app and do it that way. So next, insert SIM card and micro SD card. So when you put the micro SD card in, it'll sense it, swipe your screen, and now we'll tap next. All right, here's some waterproof reminders. Next. All right, great. Now we can mount the camera. So let's go ahead and uh, let my lovely assistant 
just pan up real quick. You ready? Yeah. There we go. That was easy. Camera is mounted, tapping next. Here's the installation guide. I'm just gonna blaze through this stuff. Next, next, next. Golly molly. Hey look, there's a guy. <laughs> and now it wants to update firmware. So let's let this run and I will come back to you guys whenever this thing is all set and done. While we're in the garden, figured we'd give you a little view of what we did in a previous video, which was my flower garden planting bulbs. And they are all in bloom now, and it's just like a bed full of sunshine. So I have mostly a bed full of yellow daffodils. I actually had one white double daffodil come out, which was amazing. And I have it in the house to enjoy. And then there's a variety of tulips as well and I have cut some of those to put in the house to enjoy too. So this is the first time I've done something like this as far as planting a bunch of flowers. I would love to get more, especially peonies and stuff like that. I did get some of those that I am starting in our greenhouse and I hope to do much, much more in the future. Our garden flower tulip tour is done, and so is the firmware. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on next here on the screen. Now we get a preview. Let's go ahead and tap on the screen here, and looks like we might have a little bit of a live view. There we go. You oh can my see goodness. Us. Hi. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That actually is really cool. So that's as far up high as it goes. We'll take it down. I mean, you can go all the way down to the ground. It does really good as far as looking directly into the sunlight. You're reflecting me, honey. <laughs> Sorry. Cool. There we go. We're done. We're good. I guess so. All right. So I think at this point it is set up. Let's go ahead and just see how it works as far as notifications. See what it catches over the next couple of days. Um, I want to also set this up to record any kind of motion activities. And we'll see you guys in one second. It'll be probably a day, maybe a day and a half from now. And just see what kind of stuff we capture on the camera out here. Well guys, it's been a couple of days since we've had this thing installed. And uh, truth be told, I think I've had more fun with this thing than I guess practical applications of people coming in to dig or start planting stuff in our vegetables. He just wants to play with the camera. <laughs> I tell you what, that AI tracking is cool, but it's a little creepy. Now it's locked on to me. So as I move, it's using its localized AI to follow me <laughs> and to watch me. Trust me, I'm doing garden work. Yep, that's pretty cool. I know you guys can't see me very well on this camera, but on that one there, probably doing good. Yeah, now it's got me again. There you go, let's see if I go this way. It's cool, but it's also creepy. It looks like a big eye. I'm over here. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. It's like something you'd see off of like a spy movie, not something that you can actually have at home. Right. Definitely. <laughs> nice hat. <laughs> Sorry. I'm still cracking up from dancing around with the camera. So as far as things in our garden, I think we caught one four-legged creature. That was not ours. Wasn't ours. It was a cat. So that's good to see our beasts in the wild, our cats out here, which we kind of thought and knew, but it's nice to have the confirmation. Mm -hmm. In that clip, which you guys are also seeing all over late here, in that clip it's also nice to see the spotlight feature and how well it worked, how well it lights up everything. So that is also really cool. It is. I think it's really useful and especially since it can be used with a SIM card, you can use it out in the woods with a sunny enough place for the solar. And you can use it at places that don't have Wi-Fi that you may have like a boathouse or something like that. 
and you can keep an eye on it and not have to worry about power or Wi-Fi near it. It seems really cool. Yeah, a boathouse. How in the world did you come up with that one? I don't know. It's like a vacation house. Thinking about thing. lake season. <laughs> I like the fact that it is completely wire free and as long as you have signal with your Wi-Fi or LG cell network, you can put this anywhere you want, which is really cool. Um, I don't know what you think as far as long term, but I'm kind of thinking I would love to put this up closer to the road so we can get alerts whenever we get packages from parcel people. We also have a problem with some creature marking territory on our parcel box. It's kind of getting a little pungent. I guarantee you we put that thing up there, it would catch it as well. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things we didn't want to show in video because you would see our mailbox and street numbers and all that stuff and want to come and hang out. And you know, we've only got so much room to entertain you, <laughs> but outside of this video, I think that's where that camera is heading next, at least for a little investigative look. Yeah, investigation. A little look-see time. Whatever. All right, I don't know how much we can uh, entertain you guys with a camera. I mean, I can only dance in front of this thing so often. And I've done it quite a few times, to be honest. Um, but hey, if you're interested in this one, there are links to it down below. Definitely check it out. It's one of many, many cameras offered by the company. So take a look and see. This one seems to be very well made, has some really cool features, and uh, I don't know. Make you feel like you're being watched. Yeah. It, <laughs> Big Brother is watching you. Well, guys, thanks for coming along. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on The Homestead. See you guys. Bye.